joining us now exclusively wow. on what's trending this morning is OG Ojinika Jinix. Oh, well, I have too much fun. And this one, this one is drumming. Oh, They're having too so much fun. Oh. <laughs> How are you the this morning? The amiable woman from Umukwa. I love that you yeah. always praise my, my town. Uh, mm -hmm. Odosian. Yes. Odosian. Yes. 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 <laughs> Good morning, Kayode. How are you? Morning, have you been enjoying your time you. and the morning show? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, all right. You know who is super in our group right now? Obiateme George, because on Monday, the Trade Union Congress in Bayelsa State presented a Rise News correspondent in Yenagoa. Obiateme George, the award for outstanding performance Ooh. as the best reporter in the state. Ma wins for Vietemeo. He also was awarded Reporter of the Year for 2023 by the Nigeria Broadcasting Awards. Oh, it was also his birthday. And I, you were, I love his land. No. Okay. <laughs> it was also his birthday on Tuesday. Happy oh, birthday, Obieteme. Obieteme. Yeah. <laughs> Please, all I want is fish. Yeah. You've been giving other people <laughs> fish. You know, Where's my own fish? <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations again. We love you at Arise News. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, let's begin what's trending. There's been mixed reactions following comments made by the General Superintendent of the Deeper Life Christian Ministry, Pastor William Kumui, who on Tuesday said that God will use President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to build Nigeria. Kumui spoke with journalists in Oshobo ahead of the Global Crusade program of his ministry. The cleric also urged Nigerians to forget the past and support the new ministers recently appointed by the president and believe that God will also use them as instruments to build Nigeria. Those ministers that have been chosen in the cabinet, they are not new, new people that have never done anything. If you look at them one by one, you'll see the good things they've done, either as state governments in the past, state governors rather, or as other ministers and they have been i would say carefully chosen if we support them if we are not you know criticizing every step and they don't know where to start if we accept them and we believe that god will walk through them you use them as instruments to build our nation let's forget the past this is a new day and i believe and we all believe we're going to see new things for our, con for our country through our president and through uh, the members of the cabinet good things will happen well unfortunately i think it's that um part that he said forget the past i got a lot of people talking let me take some reactions um this person wrote was it not the same thing you said during Buhari's tenure, sir? We are beginning to doubt your integrity. And that's a picture, I believe that was from Premium Times, um, when he said that God would give Buhari solution to Nigeria's problems in 2017. Another Twitter user there goes, uh, new things don't happen with faulty foundations. And the Bible said, Elijah repaired the altar that was brought down by Jezebel. It was on this basis that Elijah was able to call down fire. You don't call for fire when the altar is broken. The foundation through which this government came in is faulty, and new things can't happen. Your constituent, Ayo, you know I'm coming to you because, <laughs> you know, I rather, I rather, I rather, I, I, by the way, pa, um, Ayo is a, you're a pastor, aren't you? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm proudly so, I'm yes. a Christian, and yeah. so, and I find it interesting that, I must say that um, Pastor Kumui is a man that I respect a lot, yes. and he's been in the faith, he's been a leader in the faith for many years, and I like that the tweet actually drew the fact that he's been consistent yes. in his message. 
What do you expect from a pastor whose message is on forgiveness and healing? And I, I don't, do you, did, you, did you expect him to come out and say, no, punish him? And then you're teaching the Bible to a man who is a scholar in that. So yes. he probably knows what he's saying. Mm -hmm. The Bible enjoins Christians to pray for their leaders. And so in line with that, he's asked us that, okay, no matter what happens, one thing people of faith always say is that no matter the economy is going to favor me, God can use anybody, even the devil, to promote his action. So I think it's important to highlight that. Mm -hmm. He's a dealer in hope as well. They often say that pastors are dealers in hope. They are there to give hope to people. He's not there to make people feel even more despondent and, and feel absolutely yeah. terrible. So he's, he's, he's worked and acted in his office. Mm -hmm. He's spoken as he, according to his faith. Anyone can disagree with him. That's yes. everybody's right. But he's been, whether it's Buhari, whether it's um, um, Tinubu, he's... His position is to pray for those in authority, to hope that God will use them and that it would work well for Nigeria, which he did. So. Yes, absolutely. Akayo, I know you, you wanted to say something. I, I, I completely agree with Ayo. Uh, as a Christian, your position is always going to be pray for your leaders, hope that they do well. And I know that I can very clearly say there are people I did not vote for in Nigeria, but I still want them to do well. I know that a few of my friends will say, uh, and their heir, I will agree with as well. Mm -hmm. There is still a case in court regarding this government. Right. So until that is resolved, it's going to be difficult for anybody to completely throw their weight behind the current government. So in view of that, we'll say wait. But during that waiting period, don't you want President Tinubu to do well for Nigeria? Do you want Nigeria to go to war because uh, he's not being affirmed by the Supreme Court yet? Do you want Nigeria to go to shreds and pieces during the time? So the waiting time as well, there's still got to be prayers. During that waiting time, there's still got to be prayers to support, to make sure that the nation does well. And if the decision of the court is positive or negative, whatever it turns out to be, then we'll go with that. Well, all right. Well, the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, yes, some week on Wednesday, defended his choice of automobile as FCT minister. The former River State governor was reported to have arrived the Federal Capital Territory in an armored Lexus worth over 300 million naira with a plate number FCT-01. I can see what's going on social media. How you bought a car, put a proof car of 300 million naira that I'm using. So I want you to go and get your hand there and see really whether it is a treated uh, car. With all the respect, people should be careful not to destroy other people. So the, when I came, the permanent secretary said they have a car for us and that the car we use is this. So I have never approved any car to be bought, and I'm not using official bulletproof car, no. When I have cars as governor, yes, as I was governor, well, what do you expect? I should have what? So, but I'm not using bulletproof car as FCT minister. So we should uh, report the right thing and not to destroy ourselves. So I want you to take a look of that car where you have a flag, whether it is bulletproof car. Thank you. Don't stop us. <laughs> so I guess they checked and saw it was not bulletproof. So it's not 300 million. But before I take reactions, Rufai, let's uh, uh, take a look at his arrival at the FCT on his first day on the job. Let me take some tweets. Uh, this person wrote, that's a minister driving a car 
of about 300 million naira in a country where over 200 million people are finding food to eat. Tinubu is a driver of the renewed hope of the capitalist class. We can't hide these feelings for our generations to come. Rufai. <laughs> Let me laugh first. So the stock in trade now is going to be hitting <laughs> the hands of, of the ministers. What's going on here? In an Abuja where we have a lot of problems. In an Abuja where you know you have problems with a rail line they ought to have done anyway. Governor, former Governor Wiki has gone there. He said they're going to do it and complete it. Yeah. In an Abuja with all its problems all around. In an Abuja that had every downpour yesterday that people lost property, yeah. houses came down and collapsed. So what we are concentrating ourselves on is hitting the guy. You see, Governor Wiki should focus on his job and leave the theatrics alone. Social media will say things. Yeah, he's been able to debunk that he's not using a bulletproof car. Pure and simple. Let's move off it. And people should not peddle fake news. But the most important thing is, he should focus on the job, not the theatrics of the job. Because he's been in the news for all the wrong reasons once he came in. This is the same man, and I wanted to address this issue, mm -hmm. that said he will give people BP. He, does he think it's a good thing to give people high blood pressure? Does he know what it means when people are reeling from high blood pressure in this country? He should just focus. Yes, he has started some things. I like the real thing he went ahead to do and all of that. But you should focus on the job, not the theatrics. And this one that a lot of people are hailing him is they are putting caps. You should remember the 48 laws of power that never you are shine your master. Does he think he's master? Yes, there might be political contemporaries here, but Paula Tinubu is still his master. Does he think his master will be happy about all of this? Him to build his own personality cults? I think he had better be careful and just focus on this job. And don't allow, you know, this, what is it called? So, if he said he had not officially made a request for a car, let's wait. Also, I have a problem with his plate number. What's the meaning of FCT01? Wait, he didn't say he hasn't officially made a request. He said that's the car that they gave that, him. That's the car they, okay. Yes, that's the car they gave him as that, minister. That's the, the so, car they gave him. My question is, what is this? Is, what, is it the government that put FCT01 in no, front of No, but the it? idea is, I mean, is it the amount of money? It is a luxurious car. No, it's that's, a luxurious that's, that's car. That's the idea. Whether it's, it's 300 million or no, 100 and million and, and you see, 200 and you see, million. OG, that's, that's the that point also, a lot of Nigerians that also are speaks trying to make. Yes. To all of this, we are yes. saying, okay, look at that money mm. used to buy this car. Mm. You see that money goes to the Japanese economy. How about that car being an innocent, a nod, or a yes, jet you motor? always talk about that, Rufai. That's you what we keep saying. That, Do you yeah, think yes. a German minister will drive something that doesn't depict his country? Mm -hmm. How about that car being an innocent? You see, and we keep saying that we want to grow Nigeria, we want to grow Nigeria. We are not being honest with ourselves. See, when Nigerian government had a partnership with Pojo Automobile of Nigeria, that is set up the palm plant in 76, 77 here, most of government cars were Pojos. Yes. I remember. So that. why can't we go back to those days those the where too. they are produced in Nigerian cars? Absolutely. Because with this now, with the money that you want us about, you've enriched the Japanese economy. Yes. And that's why the economy will always do well over us. I have Would a question it, for you, Rufai. Yeah. Did he actually say he'll give people high people? High people? Yes. He said what? people that oh, are yes. working yeah. in the place, he will force them to do the work. He will give them high BP. Oh. We should seize all of this motor park talk. Wow. And there's a Daily Trust report that said BK huh. bans street trading, accuses corn sellers of fueling crime. So these corn sellers... Cannot so, see, sell see, they are the everybody, they are everybody wants him to do well. But yeah. let's stop this atrocious talk and every mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. you know, that uh, we do this and do that. No, 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 no. You have to be able to bring people together as a leader. He's a man that gets results in his own way. Mm -hmm. But please, it's not by forcefully coercing people and all of that. No. Yeah. Rufa, like in that the one meantime, the, there's some tragedy in Abuja. I believe that they said two persons have been confirmed. Dead ah, in the building. How your nose I was affected about this as well. Oh, really? You ah. see that that's uh, some breaking <laughs> that's news. So I believe about 37 others were rescued from the building. It's a two story building. Um, it collapsed on Lagos Street, opposite Garki Police Station. Um, and this is really sad news. And I think that the minister should also, I mean, I'm sure that he'll be there. We're hoping to see him there at this point. Our heart goes out to the families. 
um, that oh, have lost their lives. Yeah. There was a storm in Abuja yes. yesterday, which caused the destruction of properties and infrastructure. So just to mention that it was as a result, what we call act of God. Yeah. But even then, perhaps it's a, it's a great time to test the integrity of that building. Mm -hmm. We do have in climates like that where there are storms, heavy wind, wind and, and, and the like. So it be important to put a full investigation Absolutely. so that we don't have what we often record in Lagos State replicated in Abuja. We Absolutely. don't often see building collapses in Abuja, mm -hmm. but it's important that there's, a, there's an integrity test done on that building and to see the cause of it. Right. But I must say that a number of infrastructure um, got destroyed yesterday. I was talking about one, so I'm um, really sad. Our heart goes out to, that, to the families. Well, well, just to juxtapose those two stories, we case story, let me take my other story. Uh, in the meantime, Politician and journalist Dele Momodu, in an apparent jab at Nigerian politicians with large convoys and expensive sport utility vehicles, posted a, a 2018 video of President Emmanuel Macron cycling with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Denmark, Lars Locke, with the caption, See the bulletproof cars and SUVs that both President Macron and the uh, Minister of Denmark are using, adding that life is all about culture and that Nigerians are more monarchical in nature. And that is the absolute truth. I mean, this, uh, I believe this, uh, Emmanuel Macron was promoting cycling, I yeah. believe, uh, back in uh, 2018. But this is a clear picture. I mean, how many times do we see our uh, government officials going around, even just to even promote cycling? But I mean, I think that's, that's the point uh, Dele Momodu was uh, trying to say. But we are still talking about President Tinubu's large cabinet. According to the uh, Daily Trust report, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration will spend $8.63 billion on minister salaries and allowances over the next four years. The figure could, however, rise as the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission finalizes its review of public servants' remuneration. Many experts are saying the large cabinet contradicts Tinubu's promise of reducing the cost of governors. Coyote, this is actually the point. I, did. I mean, this was yesterday's report on Daily Trust. 8.6 billion in four years. I, I can't find the superlative to use in describing this. Do I call it uh, heartbreaking, heart-wrenching, mm -hmm. embarrassing, disgraceful, and I can't find preposterous. Yes, I'm looking for the words. This is, I, I remember many years ago when I, I used to anchor a different TV show on a different session and somebody said, Nigeria is the theater of the absurd. Mm -hmm. And this looks like definitely a theater of the absurd playing out. Our problems, they said, is hydra-headed. When you have a few billions, 8.6 billion for how many people over a period of four years? How much are they getting as salaries and how much are they getting as money uh, that is extra that they're taking away? It's just unbelievable. And I hope that the president will look at this and say, let's cut to chase, let's cut this down. This is not acceptable. But very quickly before I go, let me just mention uh, what Dili Momodu showed there. Uh, Boris Johnson okay, has done it. Boris He's Johnson has, cycling. has yeah. done it so many times. Yeah. He cycles a lot and it's something that happens in the UK. Mm -hmm. I've met uh, so many people in government on the train in London, in central London, yeah. so many times. You will not see a commissioner in Lagos or your uh, in any boss in Nigeria, I think the one person that tried it was Femi Otedola, and that was viral when he went on a bus and somebody, somebody said he was concocted and yeah. cooked up. But you will not find them. Why? Because they have not made our public transport the type that we can, they can also ride on. Same thing with the education. But you, you see know. them on the trains on the day of inauguration. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you something. The shocking thing, Kay, is the fact that this same public officials that can't ride our public transport, we meet them on the train in England. Yes. 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 So you can ride the public transport train in England. Yes. I mean, I've seen I, two Andy governors. Uzo, Kalu, yes, I've seen two of, governors yes, 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 on the that. train in England. <laughs> you can ride public transport in England, but you can't make that public transport fit for purpose in your country. Well All you just do is to commission a rail line, and when there's first casting, we don't see anything working again. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Let the rail walk. Let, Let the rail breathe. <laughs> well, well, on the 
President Tinubu's minister. This is as a video showing the Minister of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, Hanati Musawa, spraying words of Naira during an event. It's making the rounds on social media. <laughs> This video wouldn't naturally look absurd, but I mean, he's a government official, and they say Naira Plonkin oh, is breaking the law. a crime. Yeah, th that, that, I said first naturally step. would not look yes. absurd because it's our this culture. Yes. We spray Naira mm -hmm. at events and all of that, and I believe you know that's actually the outrage at this point. But I mean, it's our culture. I, I mean, before now, I would not have known that it was against the law to you know yeah, do is. that. Yeah. Um, Yes. Naturally. It is. The CBN actually had a press release in February mm -hmm. of 2023. They've released communique a number of times to highlight the fact that he amounts to abuse of the Naira. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that, and, and new words of notes just mm -hmm. spring. So people can say it's her money Levi. It's the fact that she's now an honorable minister. Mm -hmm. She is now a member of the cabinet of this administration. And she should be a law abiding citizen of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I hope. I hope because she does not have immunity as a minister that the CBN will come out with a statement or there will be some form of punishment or um, consequence for this. I think that's the fair thing to do. Absolutely. I know she was excited. Uh, you know, I, I did mention that a number of some of the ministers, their parties look like wedding venues mm -hmm. in terms of just celebrating the fact that they've been put into this position. But do not break the law. Party all you want, but do not break the law. So I hope that the CBN will come out with a statement on this. All right, then. I believe they said that the, the video uh, came out before she became a minister as well. Well, all right, we'll take our final story in India on Wednesday. The country became the first in the world to successfully land a spacecraft near the moon's south pole. The attempt was India's third lunar mission and comes just days after Russia's unmanned lunar 25 spacecraft span out of control and crashed into the moon. The successful space journey sparked celebrations around India, including in the southern Indian city of Bengaluru, where space scientists watching the landing erupted in cheers and applause after a failed attempt in 2019. India now joins the United States, the Soviet Union, and China in reaching this milestone. This success belongs to all of humanity and it will help moon missions by other countries in the future. I am confident that all countries in the world, including those from the global south, are capable of achieving such feats. People are applauding. Lander Let us Martin. all wait to hear from the Secretary Department of Space and Chairman ISRO, Sri S. Somnath. Yeah, well done, congratulations to India. You know, the big deal is that all previous missions to the moon have touched down near the equator, but exploring the South Pole is key to hunt for water. I mean, it's completely amazing. I'd like to uh, thank you all for your great analysis on what's trending today. Oh, that's all I have for you on what's trending today. I'll see you all tomorrow.